you're considering doing any form of sales training and coaching, I just wanted to uh, share with you an example of how we create coaching and training documents from inside uh, Microsoft OneNote, and these are held together inside the uh, platform that's Microsoft Teams. So starting from the top, uh, here's an example of where we have a onboarding assessment for clients, uh, where they can uh, test salespeople before they, uh, shall we say, let them loose live with real clients. And then we have uh, coaching. And in this, this area here, we explain what the coaching process is and uh, share, the, with, share with them the grow model. And here's a coaching checklist where we use this for our clients. However, sales managers and business owners can follow the same principles and use this uh, templated version for coaching salespeople. Uh, and th this is the, the pre-coaching checklist where you're collecting the goals, explaining the ground rules of the coaching uh, and what your expectation is of, of the salesperson. Next up, we have uh, training planners. And our training planners are based around quarters, business quarters. And we're also training around the four quadrants of a sales scorecard, which are uh, finding, closing and growing. Those are the three high value sales areas that we focus on. And the fourth quadrant is development, as in developing that salesperson. Next up, here's an example of the different competencies that we would train by. And this is an example of a, a introduction to sales negotiation, uh, sales negotiation being one of the sales competencies. And you can see the different training modules and we've got this all laid out inside Microsoft OneNote. And you can add multimedia of all sorts. You can add links to books. Uh, it's completely customizable, which is really the, the, be the great benefit of Microsoft OneNote. Uh, you can even have teams, sorry, uh, uh, forms to, to, to show assessments. Let me just see. There we go. If I just pull that out. So here's a, an example of an assessment that we've got online once they've completed the module. Uh, what does BATNA stand for? They, uh, they have to uh, enter an answer and they get one point. The, it will tell them if it's the right answer or not. What's the biggest influence on your uh, mindset? And I'm just trying to demonstrate the different types of questions that are available. Number two, there's multiple choice. Uh, and, and number three is just a simple answer again. And number four uh, is a simple rating question. So uh, it's, it's a great tool for measuring the learning. Next up, we've got the actual sales team where we're measure, we have personal learning plans for each one, each individual. And then we have coaching worksheets. So Every uh, coaching session has a uh, has its own coaching worksheet so that we can create notes and we can uh, track and measure the progress uh, of our coaching with the salesperson. Uh, and, and we've got one for each person. And, and obviously these would be password protected so that uh, you retain that confidentiality. And then just finally, we've got goal setting for the sales teams where they're doing their three-year vision, uh, what's their one-year goals, 90 day targets and, and this week's actions uh, and uh, hopefully just what I'm demonstrating is the uh, the value of Microsoft OneNote. It's a fantastic application uh, and it's really great if you're using uh, OneNote for sales management uh, we couldn't recommend it enough. That's it. If, if you need help creating and customizing sales playbooks or if you need help to implement a coaching culture in your organization, please comment below and uh, like, share, subscribe and happy selling folks. Thank you.